Hello, welcome back. This is Lolly. Today I want to make these beautiful bow paper clips that look like leather. I am using Craft Tex, and in our paper clip art group, the theme for July is to make a clip that's red. So I chose this Marsala Craft Tex, and this is what I made. And I will show you how I did that. So I want you to see the sparkle on this one. So I am using this die today from Sizzix. It's a Sizzix Biggs. I'm using this one down here. And this is what a Biggs looks like. If you don't have any Biggs, when you use these, you would put your craft text here or your cardstock and sandwich it between your two putting plates and run it through your Big Shot without the platform. You don't need that because this is so big. The purpose of these is there's also called steel cut dies and there is actually a metal blade that when you run it through the blade comes out between the rubber and cut so you can actually cut leather and faux leather with this and, and chipboard. So that's the benefit of having a big die. Okay, so I have pre-cut some to show you what the pieces look like. These are the three pieces that go with this particular bow. And again, this is the, it just says Dina, uh, 658541. I will leave you a link down below if I find access to any of these. So I am going to use Fabri-Tac to adhere this. I think one thing that would be cute too would be to put the band across the bow a different color. So for instance, like this, instead of using the same color, wouldn't that be adorable? So, But for this one, I am going to go ahead and use um, the same color here. I had to get that shaken down. So what I'm going to do is glue, take the round piece here, I'm going to glue right across the middle section. I'm going to fold this over and this over and make them meet right in the center. You'll notice, I don't know why, but um, these are actually wider in the back than they are the front. I'm not sure why they did that. In other words, the width of this part here is wider than the center section. Not really sure why they did that. So. Remember that this little joint here is going to go in the back, and then we're going to glue here. And we're going to put that down right in the center. And then once we do that, we'll, all we have to do is glue the band across it and it'll be done. So if, um, like on one of these, I think I will paint this. So I'll paint it first and then I will assemble it because it would be so much easier. What I did with this one is I used Deco Art Craft Twinkles in crystal and just painted it on there and that's what I did. And then these are Swarovski crystals down the center. I'm going to put that there. Get that lined up. Making sure it's kind of straight here. And just turn it over and glue those down the sides down here. Of course, this is the back, so you're not really going to see it anyway, but you want to get a good fit there. There we go. So I'm going to hold that for a sec. Now the clips that I'm using to put these on, I got from Etsy, and I will these are sold all over the place. I don't really know what they're called, but this is the seller is I craft for less and I will give you a link down below to that shop. So I am using a permanent glue to adhere this to that. So, oh that is so cute. So let's pull out, let's pull out the better ultimate adhesive. So this is a, they say non-toxic. Uh, you want to put, it doesn't take a whole lot, just a little bit on both surfaces. Let it set for 30 seconds and then push them together. And then once you do that, you have to wait um, you know, a good hour before messing with it. But I, the full uh, permanency is achieved in 24 hours. So um, people ask constantly, why don't I use a hot glue gun? And that is because this is metal and a hot glue will not be permanent. And it would work if I were just having this on display. But if I had to use it in a book or mail it to someone, it would come apart in the mail. So I'm just letting time lapse while I'm talking, but while I'm doing that, I also picked these up from Amazon. I'll give you a link down below to those. They are so adorable. Now it is up on foam and uh, it's a foam sticker. Uh, I think that I will leave that foam on there. If it ever falls off, I will just glue it back on. Okay, so let's 
put that on there. And I want to put this adorable little bee right in the center here. And I'm going to give it a little extra nudge with some Fabri-Tac. I just thought a bee would be really cute there. You could use two. These are really small. I think you could get away with two of them. I'm going to put him at a little angle here. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put this aside and let it dry. But isn't he so sweet? Okay, so I mentioned that I was going to paint this one. And this one would be really cute with another color band on it. Wow, that would be really cute, especially since I'm going to paint it. So what I'm going to do with this one is take my paints and use um, the back of these crochet hooks. I got these for dot painting. And all I need to do is just do dots where it's going to show. It doesn't really work back here so much unless you want to see, I guess you could, for the back of the clip you might see some, although the back of this would be more, anyway, I don't know. So if I figure it's like this, I really only need to do the sides and the top. So I don't need to do the far ends, just the ends here and the center here. And I might use this instead. So let's pick out some colors. I decided to go with these because I think they look really good with this. Now I'm sorry for the glare. I know it's glary, but that's the what happens when you have an overhead light. This is one of my new colors. It's folk art. Uh, what's the color? Patina. And this one is Calypso Sky. This is Apple Barrel Bright Blue. None of these have been opened before. It doesn't take much. I'm going to start with some of the lighter colors here. And all you have to do is just tap it in there. I'm going to put some off the edge too. And remember this only has to be in kind of the center. I have way too much paint here. Okay, now I'm going to wipe this off and switch to this color. Wipe that off and switch to this dark blue. Then all I have to do is just let this dry. You could use different sizes of um, these crochet hooks too. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, let it dry. Oh yeah, I'm going to let it dry and then we will come back and assemble this one. Okay, this has had plenty of time to dry, so I'm going to glue this one just like I did the other one. Now I think I'm going to put a sealer on here, whether it's Mod Podge or another varnish type thing like the Duraclair, it doesn't really matter to me. It's just that uh, I don't want to seal it before gluing it because I'd rather glue these pieces together when they're dry, if that makes sense, and don't have any coating on them. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot already. It's so cute. Oh, that is so adorable. You could do a like Mod Podge gloss or Mod Podge also has frosty. It wouldn't be um, chunky glitter like this has. So that might be a nice look too. And I'm wondering if the gloss would make it look more like patent leather. I guess we, we can try that out and see what we think. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so let's do the paper clip. Holding this just for a sec. Now with the Better Ultimate Adhesive, you may remember, it's been a while since I talked about it, but if you get this on your skin, all you have to do is take vegetable oil and a rag and wipe it right off. So I thought about doing the same thing in putting like um, Swarovski crystals because they're so pretty, but I, I don't know, I kind of like the uh, simplicity of the polka dots here and I didn't want to take away from there. However, I had an idea. I'm wondering about even just like buttons. 
I'm not sure. But this will also give this will also give me an idea of whether or not I'm even going to like the idea of something on the top here. Oh, how cute would that be? If I could fit three of them there, they would have all of the, oh, it's going to be really hard to fit three in here. And that one is too close to the color. The third one is rather close to the color of my band, but the other two fit really well here. I don't know. I like it both ways. I'm just going to leave them off for now and think about it while this is setting up. Okay, now I have one more, and these are two different heights as well. I have one more already cut out, and that is this color. Remember, I stole the band to put on this one, so I might want to go ahead and put this color band here. I was wondering if um, I put glossy Mod Podge on it, would it look like patent leather? So we can only try and find out, huh? Okay, so let's glue this one together first. And then I want to, because again, I don't want to glue glossy, I don't want to put any kind of um, coating on it and then try to glue it, because this way the glue will stay a lot better. Oh, cute. So I'm going to wipe up the extra glue. Okay, let's get that glossy Mod Podge. Oh, I really like it the way it is, but I do want to try the glossy Mod Podge. So here's what it looks like. You don't want to shake your Mod Podge because then it will put bubbles in there. I think I've been holding that long enough. I'm getting all the surfaces, but um, I just figured it'd be easier for the glue to adhere if I didn't have the glossy Mod Podge before gluing. This may take two coats, I don't know, so we will see. Huh? If you've worked with Craftex and liquid mediums before, you know that Craftex is very absorbent. So. And this is just going to soak right in there, and that's why I might want more than uh, one coat. I'm just going to put this on this plastic bag. I know this is going to be kind of shiny on the camera. Okay, we will come back. So, that is one coat. It is really pretty shiny. I'm still thinking I might give it another. I don't know. I really like it the way it is. If I did get another coat, it would probably look more like patent leather, but... I think I like it just the way it is. And you can see based on this one, without any gloss on it. And then this one, I just put uh, one coat of matte varnish on it, and this is the one with the glossy. Pretty cool. So let's get that one on a paper clip blank, and then we'll see whether I like anything on that one. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. And I'm still trying to figure out whether I like buttons on this one or not. And I think I do. Okay, so let's put this together. Let's do this. Put a little bit there and apply it in a small amount. Now we can put this one together. I think this one might look really good with a big rhinestone right in the middle of it. Let me get my rhinestones out and look at those. This one might be a good idea here, this little crystal heart. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to let this, uh, let these ones set up and then I will take pictures close up and put them at the end. Yes, I'm really glad I put the buttons on there. I think that is really classic. And I'm going to pause the video for 30 seconds and put this on. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? 
Okay, so here's the lineup. That was fun. I really did. I really do like this die because I feel like these bows look different than just your traditional ordinary um, ordinary bows, and I think they're really cute. So love the big die. Love it with the craft text. Thank you for watching. Make sure you look at all those things. Links down below. Please consider subscribing to my channel.